Welcome to Open Fringe. I'm Dale Leeson, the author of Open Fringe, and I'm going to show you some of the features of Open Fringe that will help you analyze interferograms. To start with, let's look at some of the controls we have here in Open Fringe. The first line across the top is a series of menus that can be opened and have quite a few different things inside of them. In particular, you can open a, an image that would, might be your interferogram. You would do that here. We'll get back to that later. The second row are a series of buttons that can change what is being displayed down below. For instance, whether the uh, surface trace has a grid or is, in this case, a solid surface. This is the, the next row is a series of windows the, the tabs that select a series of windows down below to change what might be displayed down here. It can be surface analysis or an interferogram or uh, simulations. Over here on the right hand side we have various controls that will change based on what control is selected over across the top here. For instance we have the 3D display like we have up now you can put up a contour display instead. We have a profile display of the same surface. And you can select a report that will create several displays. Okay, let's go back to the 3D display. One last thing I'd like to show you before we go on to analyzing the interferogram is that this 3D display is interactive. If you hold down your mouse key, the left mouse key, and move the mouse. You can move the display up and down. And if you swing it real fast, you can get, the, just get it to circle around and continue around like that. The other thing you can do is you can rotate it. So you can get better vantage points uh, to see what the final surface looks like. In the next video, we'll analyze an interferogram.